In this video, we're going to cover how to restudy for a CPA section that you've failed. We're going to cover the best strategies for a restudy, and depending on what your score was, we'll cover the timelines or how long you should wait before you reschedule it. Okay, so let's help you pass this section. If you scored below a 70, then set your test, your, re, your retest, four weeks away. That's the perfect amount of time for a restudy if you were below a 70. But if you were a, above a 70, so a 70 or above, somewhere between a 70 to a 74, then you only want to wait two or three weeks. You can do a huge amount of restudying and be very effective. You, you don't want to wait too long because you don't want to forget the stuff you've already studied. So everything's fresh in your mind. If you scored a 70 or above, set it for two to three weeks away. Now this one I get asked a lot, do not try another section first. Do not switch to another section. You spent, I don't know how long you spent, but at probably at least several weeks, more likely a month or two, studying for the section that you failed. So all that stuff is to some degree floating around in your head still. While it's fresh, you want to hit the restudy, uh, follow the strategies I'm going to give you in a minute, and just piece it together to the point where you can pass. You do not want to switch to another section until you've passed the one you currently, or you already studied for. All right, so the best approach to a restudy, it is all based around MCQs. The best thing that you can do is sets of 30 cumulative multiple choice questions. So you want to just resemble one testlet like you would see on test day. You want to do those 30 questions over and over and over. Cumulative meaning from all the material. Now there is, again, depending on your score, if you scored a 70 or above, flat out the best thing you can do to restudy is as many sets of 30 cumulative MCQs as you can handle. Just set after set after set. Two reasons, you obviously want to just re-review as much material as you can using these sets of 30 questions. But the other reason is time management is a killer on test day. Most people spend way too long on the MCQs and they don't leave enough time to sit and work through the simulations. Especially on this new version of the CPA exam, you have three sim testlets so you, you don't get to look at all the sims all at once like you used to. So you used to be able to fill out the easier ones first and then work on the hard ones. With this new format, the sim testlets are split into three testlets. And so you have to decide at some point, if, you, if you're stuck on one, you have to submit it and move on to the other two so that you have enough time to work through the other two testlets. So the point of all that is that you want to get as proficient with the MCQs as possible. Every section is four hours long now and you have two MCQ testlets until you get before you get to the sims. So at, at the very worst, you need to be done with those two MCQ testlets by the two hour mark. You cannot go past that. You need to leave at least two hours to work through the sims. Now, as you go through MCQs, when you come to a question, when you're reviewing your answers at the end of each set of 30, the questions that are the same types or concepts that you keep missing or that you're still not very proficient with, you want to explain those questions. You, you want to exp take the explanation and explain it back to yourself out loud until you understand it and you can explain it to yourself in your own words. And at that point, make yourself a flashcard for it. So then you end up with this deck of flashcards you've made, whether it's digitally on your phone through like Quizlet or on paper flashcards, you end up with this deck of cards that is in your own words of all the things you weren't really clear on before. So that deck of cards is gonna be like gold to you when it comes to helping you pass. So to recap, you wanna do sets of 30 MCQs, two at a time back to back, so 60 MCQs. You take a break in between and read through the explanations. Like we just said, make your flashcards for the ones you missed. Two sets of 30 MCQs, so for each two sets of MCQs, then do a set of practice sims. When it comes to practice sims, you wanna seek out the hardest ones because on test day, 
like you just experienced. The sims on test day are gonna be harder and nastier than the practice sims you've seen in your review course. So seek out the hardest sims and do the same thing. Break them into pieces until you understand them. Usually that means journal entries and make your own flashcards for those. So two sets of MCQs, one set of practice sims. That's the general format. Now the one difference is if your score was below a 70, then you want to do two sets a day, so two sets of 30 MCQs from the content areas that you scored weaker on. And your score report from NASBA or if you're not in a NASBA state, whoever sends you that score, it will, your score report will say you were weaker or stronger in the certain areas or comparable. You want to hit those content areas that you were weaker on first. So do two sets of the 30 questions from your weaker content areas. And then at least once a day, you want to do at least one set of 30 cumulative questions from the whole section. Because again, you don't want to forget everything else you've studied. You want to keep everything else fresh. So you can stay sharp by doing that set of 30 MCQs. Now if you don't have all day to study, you can use our study supplements, the super fast CPA review notes or the MCQs on your phone. That's our recommended format anyways. You do uh, mini sessions. So every time you have five or 10 minutes throughout your day, you pull your phone out, you do a mini quiz with our MCQs. That's another way to just pound through a ton of MCQs, you know, through your work day. Every time you have five or 10 minutes, you do a mini quiz or you read the review notes for five minutes. That's what we created those for. If you want an in-depth walkthrough of the super fast CPA approach to studying, which just involves accelerated study methods, you can go to our website at superfastcpa.com, register for one of our free study webinars where we teach you our approach to studying, or you can click on the card at the end of this video.